trying to figure it out. Hey guys, what is up? Did you miss me? Probably not. I missed you. I actually literally missed you. I missed this, missed this little square. Me and you, missed it. Anyway, I just wanted to make a video saying hey, saying that I missed you. I'm actually filming in Nixon's room if it looks a bit different, but it's got great lighting, so here we are. I wanted to touch on a few things that happened in my 2020 and share that with you guys because it's something that was kind of pivotal and probably a lot of people's 2020s were pivotal. It was something that was unprecedented for our lifetime. A year that was. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Now Zadie bums on the floor so if you hear him that's why. He's just playing. There are a few things that brought me down in 2020. And like most, I'm sure there was a lot of lows and a lot of challenges. But it was the things that I achieved last year that really pulled me through such a challenging year. And I wanted to chat about that. I wanted to document the things that I am proud of. And the first one being, I actually came off antidepressants. And you all know that I suffer with mental health issues. I see my psychologist on and off whenever I need to, and I've always taken medication. For eight years now, I've been on medication. And when I went on it, it was fantastic. It definitely helped me then and for the following years but it was around about probably um, a year or so ago maybe even three years ago that I thought you know I don't really need this anymore I don't really want to be on this anymore and the wheels started churning as to how I would come off antidepressants and be mentally okay Lo and behold, I didn't realize that I would start weaning off antidepressants during what was such a really difficult time. Uh, Zade's father and I, Tim, we had just separated. We had just gone into isolation. Tim had gone away to work and we weren't sure when he was gonna come home. So it was just me with the kids. Uh, we did homeschooling for about three weeks. A lot of things were kind of happening at this one time when I had decided to wean off antidepressants. But I was kind of already halfway through weaning off and I didn't, you know, you didn't want to go backwards. If anybody out there has ever done it before, it's quite a difficult thing to do. So I had to cut down my dose in half and then a quarter, then every second day and then I was off. And I don't recommend people do this without the consultation of your GP and working with them. But I was able to do it successfully without minimal withdrawal symptoms. And I would say the only thing that has really affected me since coming off my medication is my anxiety. My anxiety just went <whistles> And a lot of people's anxiety was probably the worst it has ever been, given the circumstances. You know, it was very, challenging last year very it was a very anxious time but i had found that antidepressants kind of like numbed my emotions so when i come off it all these emotions had feeling again i had feeling it was like being numb for so long and then i had feeling so i'm super proud that it's been 12 months off my medication and the only thing that has really suffered is my anxiety. And that's something that I'd prefer to work on naturally with strategies like meditation, um, you know, trying to be as healthy as I can be, getting good sleep, staying hydrated, doing mindfulness activities, all of those good things. So that's one thing I'm definitely proud of. The second thing was during my journey to come off antidepressants, I was chatting to my GP about how I always felt tired, I always had low iron, I couldn't 
lose weight even if I ate healthy or exercise. Like it just would not budge at all. So we looked into we looked into my hormones being the reasoning behind that. We found that I had increased androgen and I don't really know much about it other than the fact that it's kind of like the male hormone. So it's the opposite of estrogen, right? My doctor then was confident enough with all the information she knew about me to diagnose me with polycystic ovarian syndrome. <laughs> PCOS for short. Pico. Or PCOS. Pizza sauce. Yes, pizza sauce. What the doctor had also picked up was that my liver was like borderline fatty liver and if you know me you'd be like what? Well, I don't get that because I don't really drink alcohol if at all. And especially 2020 I probably could count on my fingers how many drinks I had the whole year. I looked into getting my liver function better, healthy, reversing that so that your liver can actually flush out excess hormones. And then I worked on my hormones itself by having things like berries and greens. And yeah, I basically just worked really hard to focus on that health aspect because it has been well documented now that PCOS or hormonal issues can obviously bring about anxiety and depression. So once I had spoken to my psychologist about this, he's like, well, I don't really think you have borderline personality disorder after all. I actually think it's just a byproduct of having this hormone imbalance of having PCOS because the symptoms and everything, they just overlap. So that was good news. Uh, but whatever way you want to call it, you know, I've I've got anxiety and sometimes suffer with depression. Once I started working on everything, I then decided to incorporate some exercise into my life. And I actually got this email from the Black Dog Institute, which is a mental health organization, saying they had a fundraiser coming up in October and you could walk however many kilometers you wanted and raise money. So I picked 40 kilometers as a goal to walk for the month of October. And to paint you a picture, I'm not somebody that goes and exercises clearly by my size. Uh, you know, with the two kids and being on my own, I do struggle to find time to fit it in. It's no excuse if I wanted, if I really wanted to do it, I'm sure I could do it. But I am quite lazy in that sense. So. A couch potato wanting to walk 40 kilometers for the month was a big deal for me. So from March to November, I had come off my antidepressants. I'd incorporated some ways to naturally help my hormone imbalance. And I'd also put some exercise into my life as well. And I'm happy to say now that I've lost 10 kilos. And you probably wouldn't notice because like I'm still I'm still quite big. I still need to lose a little bit more weight. But once I incorporated these things, I just, the weight just kind of like, just came off. I was like, thank you body for looking after me. I'm gonna drop this weight now. And I was like, yes, thank God. So towards the end of the year, you know, it was really, positive for me that the remainder of my year was really positive I'd lost weight I'd had these healthy habits into my life I'd gotten off antidepressants and things were looking up I then ended the year by going to Brisbane and spending Christmas with my family down there which was amazing I hadn't seen my parents all year and if you know anything about me you know I'm a family gal. I love my family more than anything, especially my parents. They're my best friends. They're not just my family. And it was amazing to see them. Woo! Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so 2020 was great. Something did happen in August that I probably want to do a video on all by itself. And that was Zadie and his dad were in a car accident. 
So, my daddy. Yeah, your daddy. You got in an accident, didn't you? In the car. Daddy's old car? Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably do a video on that because that is, that was, <laughs> that was something. And yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it was something. Now we're in March 2021 and Whoa. as you can see from Zade's face, we've had a little hiccup so far this year, but you know, we've had some really great times too. Everyone is healthy and happy. I've kind of uh, dipped a little in my motivation with my healthy eating and my exercise, but I'm sure that will come, that will come back. But another thing I wanted to reintroduce to my 2021 is you guys. All right, he's being feral, I better go. I wanted to document the things that I was most proud of last year and share it with you guys, just so that you know that anything is possible. If you're feeling like you're in a rut or you're at rock bottom, anything is literally possible if you put your mind to it and you just act, just act on it. And I've had a bit of a slow start to 2021. I haven't been super healthy. I've lost a few of my good habits, but I wanted to put it out there so that I can get back on track. <laughs> but it's all right to have dips. We all have dips. All right. Well, let me know in the comments what you want to see from me this year on YouTube. I don't really know what I'm going to be filming. I'm just going to film when I want to, upload when I want to, but let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Now, bye bye. Bye. Say bye bye. Gotta put your hand over it to act like we're disappearing. Ah.